Let's make some carnivore keto friendly waffles. They're so hot. Ah. Hey there. I wanted to quickly show you guys one of my favorite recipes. I'm using this for everything. It's um, a base that I'm doing for waffles, crackers, you can make bagels, like literally cook it however you want. It turns out amazing. So I took a tablespoon of butter and I melted it in the microwave. And then you're gonna take one egg, crack that in, and then we are going to do a quarter cup of pork panko. Oh, there we go. And I will have it linked. I get mine on Amazon. You can crush your own and that works just fine, but I find as often as I make this that it's easier just to buy it like this. And it looks like brown sugar. And then you're just gonna mix it all up. And this is it. Cook it in waffles, cook it as pancakes, however you want to make it. It's so delicious, so versatile. My kids love it as crackers. And then we put cream cheese and cinnamon on top. You can use it as buns. You can make it sweet, savory. You know, it's a good base. So add whatever you want. If you want to add any spices or maybe some cinnamon and stevia, if you're keto and you use that. So very versatile. And if my background looks a little different, because I am coming to you from my mom's kitchen. She is out of town in Costa Rica, so I'm taking advantage of a quiet house. Okay, so I'm going to, I, you can make one big waffle, but I like to do two small ones. So I'm going to put half of that in here and try and show you. Okay, maybe not. Um, when I'm making crackers... I like to put this in the fridge for a little bit and make it more of like a solid dough. You can air fry them, you can bake them. I usually, um, when I do them in the air fryer, put them on a mat, like so I'll use a silicone mat to get them in there. And then after a few minutes when they're easy to pick off, then I will do it without the mat because you want that air to circulate. Sometimes I find poking a little hole in the center with a toothpick allows for the center to get crunchy and not be so soft. Um, what else can I tell you about them? Mine do have salt in them. Most pork rinds do. I haven't seen any that aren't unsalted. Um, someone mentioned that it was too salty for them. I think it's fine. I do love salt though. My kids haven't said anything. So when you're doing the tablespoon of fat, maybe do unsalted butter um, to give it a try with that. You can also do tallow or ghee. You just want some sort of fat in there. Ooh, getting a little facial. Another great option would be they make... Um, these waffle makers in like a, a four. So if you, you know, make a huge batch of this, then you can schlep them out really quickly, keep them in the fridge or freezer, and then you can toast them as you need. They only take like a couple minutes and voila. So let me know if you've tried these yet, or if you're going to make them, let me know. And let me know what you think in the comments and like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you guys next time.